Is my dick so good that I should charge these bitches for it? Hey, boys, checking your beeper and seeing if daddy finally responded after leaving so many years ago here with another little bit of a video, a brand new video. Today I thought I'd put my words to practice and actually be outside. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll realize that most of my posts involve telling magicians and lonely virgins to step outside every once in a while. Be out of your element. Get out of your mom's bedroom and stop shuffling the cards. So look, this is me outside. Today is gonna be an action-packed video. Oh boy, I'm so excited. We have a review of the Pollock deck. We have a review of the Pollock deck, that's number one. Second, I'm gonna show you guys a hot trick that you can use to show the ladies so you finally at least know what it looks like. And uh, third, I'm gonna be telling the, uh, the winner of the Chris Ramsey first second decks. So you're gonna find out who won that particular deck uh, today on today's uh, episode. And we're here with uh, Daniel. Daniel from uh, United Magicians Emporium. Uh, hey Daniel, what do you think about pets being neutered? No. So we're gonna be going and doing this in a, in a non-standard format just because uh, honestly, I've atrophied, I've atrophied. So let's just jump right into it. So today we're reviewing the uh, the Pollock decks. So as you may know, when it comes to my deck reviews, there's a couple things that I like to uh, partake in. And the first one is the, the cellophane, the cellophane of the, uh, the playing cards. This particular deck, as you can see, I already ripped off the safety tab from the, uh, from the cellophane because, uh, well, honestly, honestly, I had to open them before. I'm not about to open them for review. That's stupid. Why would anybody wait? Uh, for these cards. I already opened it, but the cellophane, it's a classic standard uh, flat package cellulose, which is standard in the industry. I like it because it's taut around the cards. It's very taut, uh, which is a quality that I particularly enjoy when it comes to uh, when it comes to cellophane. Now, as far as uh, the actual feel of the cellophane on the hand, uh, on the skin, it's definitely a nice feeling on the skin. Uh, a lot of people misunderestimate the, uh, the skin feel of playing cards. But this one definitely, I would say A1, A1 steak sauce for the, the cellophane. Now this deck in particular is the Pollock Artistry deck. By who? Randy Butterfield and Mike Wilson, the doc. Check them out on IG. Now Randy Butterfield's made a number of decks. Uh, in particular, he made the Oculus deck. He also made the Snake Oil deck. He's made the Draconians, the Romans, the Grinders, the Honeybees. The guy's made so many decks. The guy's a genius. The Kanye West of playing cards. So the box itself, it's a very nice box. Uh, it's uh, a rectangular box, very standard when it comes to playing cards. I like it because, uh, well, there's this side, then there's this side, there's this side, this side, this side, and then my favorite side, this side. The reason why it's my favorite side is because this houses the flap. This houses the flap, which is very underrated. They decided to go with a relatively short flap, which is uh, very diverse. Very diverse. Usually they have the long black flaps, but here it's a, it's a small white flap. So the Pollock deck is very cool and unique to its design because both Randy and Mike hand drew both decks. They made five different designs and combined them all to make each of the decks that you see on these playing cards. These cards in particular, I would say that they're, uh, they feel really nice. They're printed with uh, which company? Expert. Expert. Now, Expert does get a little bit of a bad rap in terms of the feel compared to USPC and compared to uh, Carter Mundi with their B9 finish. But I got to tell you, I don't see it with this deck. This deck definitely has a uh, very particular feel when you spread it. It's almost as if a puppy is calling out to you in the rain and saying, hey, pet me, pet me. Uh, and you go and pet it, but you realize that the dog has rabies, so you really can't pet it. So it has that nice sort of feel to it and that sort of aesthetic. They spread really nice. I've had this deck for uh, quite a bit of time and it still spreads as well now as uh, when I took it out of the box. So you can do all your, uh, all your cardister moves with this deck and you're gonna be rewarded with a uh, deck of playing cards that uh, looks good on Instagram. It looks good on the gram. They smell like the sweatshop they were made in. The skin feel 
is uh, is very tasty, I gotta say. Usually when it comes to playing cards, the skin feel really determines uh, the quality of the cards. And the skin feel for this deck, I would say is comparable to a small Vietnamese woman coming in and opening her store for the day. It's a good smell. Now it comes in three particular decks. This is the artistry deck. Cardistry deck. Borderless deck, which is uh, here in this lime green. This one has this nice uh, Jackson Pollock aesthetic. It looks like somebody just uh, had a seizure. This one looks like uh, mustard from Denny's. And this one, what would you say it looks like? Cheap mustard from Denny's. So Daniel, where could uh, my lovely audience of the PK community buy these cards? Soon, they'll be available at umeplayingcards.com. The place for quality playing cards at quality prices and with extra fast shipping. But here's a little bit of a hot trick you could do with this particular deck of playing cards. Uh, well, you could do it with any deck, but I'm gonna do it with this particular deck of playing cards because that's the deck we're shilling, boy. Uh, so first things first, Daniel, uh, we don't need to use the entire deck. We don't need to use the entire deck. So I'm gonna uh, run through here. Just call stop anytime you want. Stop. Right there, perfect. Uh, that's still too many cards though. So we'll do it again. Uh, call stop again. Stop. Ooh, good eye. Good eye, sir. I'll tell you what, uh, I know you're over there, but uh, I'm just gonna run through these cards and just call stop anytime you want. Stop. Right there? Yep. Excellent, excellent. So here we have the, uh, the 10 of spades. The 10 of spades. Does the 10 of spades mean anything to you? Yes. What's it mean to you? Love. That's fing gay. It means a lot to me because before we started, inside the card box, I put one card and one card alone, and that's the mate. The mate, the 10 of clubs. Great job, Daniel. Good job. Oh, and also, uh, good job on finding the other 10s. That's the other, uh, that's the, see the 10. You got the 10s, boy. Hey, guys, you like the tripod in the shot? That's the aesthetic that I have on my channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell. Also, I stream. I stream every Wednesday and every Sunday at 9 p.m. You might want to check out the streams. Kind of hot. We have some banter back and forth. It's uh, hot and heavy, as the kids like to say. Also, Pick Cake Card and Coin Academy. $5 a month gets you two videos a week. Over 130 videos already put. What? 130 videos teaching you card and coin magic. The moment you sign up, you have access to all of them. What are you doing there? $5 a month, that's the price of what? That's the price of a shoelace a month. You could go without buying shoelaces for a month. Support your boy and support yourself with some hot magic. Speaking of hot magic, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this little bit of a hot trick. First things first, you gotta hit all the ants that are nearby. Uh, so here's what you need for this trick. You need the tens. It could be any four of a kind, uh, but you could use the tens because I'm using the tens. And what you do is that you grab one of those tens and you put it inside of the box. You grab the matching 10, place it on the bottom. So you have the uh, two off colored ones. The black goes on the bottom because I don't believe in equal opportunity. And then that goes on top of the deck. So, so far you have a red 10, a red 10 and a black 10. That's it, that's your setup. That's an easy setup, right? You think they could remember that? Yes. I don't think so, but uh, that's the setup and you're good to go. So now what you do is that you approach a spectator and you say, sir, could you please put down the peanut butter? Because honestly, you're scaring off the crowd here. You're scaring off the... Uh, we don't need to use the entire deck. So uh, we just need to use a couple cards for this. That's my excuse to do the overhand shuffle force. The overhand shuffle force is very easy. All you got to do is uh, you're just pulling this back card as you overhand shuffle the cards and have the spectator call stop wherever it is they want. So let's say they're having to call stop over here. All you're going to do is drop these cards with, by the way, has the uh, 10 of hearts here. One more time for those of you guys from Puerto Rico. Let me do that in extra slow motion. You're gonna overhand shuffle the cards, but I'm squeezing with my fingers on this back card, which is gonna put it on the back of the pile. I hope the Puerto Ricans understood that. Uh, you might be too busy pouring beer on your rice and chicken. So once you have the spectator call stop, you're gonna take this pile with the uh, 10 and you're gonna place it on top of the surface. In this case, it's a nice little bit of a yellow surface because apparently uh, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here because of the electrical forces. So you're going to repeat this one more time. Have the spectator call stop. Creating another pile with the two tens already on it, son. You're almost halfway done. Next, you're going to do the, uh, the Gary Roulette touch force. One of my favorite uh, touch forces. One of my favorite ways to touch 
with this last uh, 10, which is on top of the deck. So the way that works, you're gonna swing cut, keep a break. And as you spread, you're gonna transfer that break and you're gonna transfer that break so it's gonna be below the 10. When you start off, it's gonna be above the 10. You wanna transfer that so it's gonna be below the 10. So you're gonna have the spectator touch any card they want. Let's say they touch that one. You're gonna keep your break. And of course, in squaring up the cards, guess what, son? That's the 10, that's not the card they touched. But they don't need to know that because they're they're dumb so here one more time they touch the card you're going to lift up at your break as you turn over and show the 10 ask the spectator if this have any sort of meaning to them uh really take the time to listen to them because if they're taking the time to watch you do magic tricks that means that they really need all the help they could get but finally when you bring it back you can say oh i have a prediction in my box uh, and it happens to be the other 10. and then as a twist you could show that you haven't found every single 10 in the entirety of the deck, uh, in the entirety of all decks, because there are no more 10s in the world. Giveaway time. Giveaway time. So as you know, me and uh, your boy UME here sponsored a giveaway for the first second deck of the Ramsey playing cards. These are the, uh, the second first deck of the Ram Fam cards so we did a little bit of a hot giveaway a couple of videos ago so you better be uh, on the channel and making sure that you're doing all the things so you could win hot decks like this so this one in particular is going to go out to i forgot his name sam chung okay Sorry. sam chung sam chung we're going to get this deck we've already reached out to you in the hot dms we slid in there like you're some sort of magic thought uh but we're going to be sending you this deck of cards but does that mean that we're done with giveaways, Daniel? But well, wait, there's more. That's how we do things here. So we're gonna be giving away two decks to two different people for this next giveaway, but we're gonna require a little bit of a challenge. First things first, you gotta follow me on Instagram, at pigcake69. I post some hot magic there from time to time. You also gotta follow this guy, at UME Playing Cards. I'm gonna link everything down below. Those are the first two steps and the simplest. But the third, the third is the challenge. The third is the one that's gonna make you work, but it's fun work. It's not work like you're going into, you're doing a nine to five. This is, this is fun work. Because we're gonna have ourselves a meme contest. Best meme, it could be anything. It could be me, it could be about Daniel. It could be about absolutely anything related to the channel. But the best two memers that tag both me and Daniel will get those decks. We're gonna have a video where we're gonna be evaluating your memes. We're gonna be laughing. We're gonna be hopefully crying depending on how hard you roast, how hard you roast us. And the best two are gonna have a choice between either getting the Cherry Casino, so two Cherry Casinos and or Superfly and Big Boys 2. Those are some hot decks. Those are the hot decks. The best memer gets to pick whether or not they want the Cherry Casinos or the Superfly cards, and the second one is gonna get the remaining. But you're still getting two decks. Hello? Contest? Yes. It's on the way. Okay. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys had fun with it. Pollock deck review, card trick tutorial, giveaways. Boy, really makes you wanna keep following me and watching all my videos, right? I would say so. Uh, so thank you guys for watching the video. I'm gonna go figure out different ways to use a vacuum cleaner to try to clean my sex life.